another member of the family. Hello, hello! So very good to meet you. Ooh, so silent, so menacing. A true assassin of the old way. Cicero likes you, oh yes, Cicero likes you indeed. <laughs> The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. Oh, I do. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... <laughs> Happy? But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say... The words. <laughs> What? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh, you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And... Killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. Cicero takes care of our lady's body, oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Of course, Our Lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our Lady has not chosen Cicero, and certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But someday... Cicero bids you farewell. 